Hello everybody and welcome. We are drafting Kaladesh. It's the first day of the release and uh, so we are jamming drafts today. Everybody here on you Twitch, you can say hello to your future YouTube self. Matthew says, give me a shout out so YouTube knows my name. What about, what about you just say hi, Matthew? Gabby yeah, Proof Software is nice. Yeah, I like the Fleet Wheel Cruiser. I think it's gonna get playing constructed and it's probably just very good and limited too. Cruise for two and it's a 5 3 trample haste to cruise itself. I think we just take that. Also, I think our last deck might have been even sweeter if we had picked up more artifacts because we had the two artifacts like for, for cheap. What's he called? Do you guys remember? I don't remember. The guy that makes your artifacts cheaper or whatever. <laughs> no future Calic, don't listen to past Calic, take the green pill. Telling us about your pro version to solidify your place in the MDG Elite. <laughs> ah, it's, it is important to sub to Servo Facts. Uh, yeah. Our last card, we didn't actually take a look. It was a mountain, though. Let's take the Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Uh, Consulate Surveillance. When it ETBs, you get four. You pay two prevental damage that would be dealt to you by a source of your choice. Yeah, I'm not into that. Not into that life. I think Voltaic Brawler is probably pretty good, but it is a gold card, which I'm not excited to take that early. It might just still be the best card. We could take the Riparian Tiger, maybe. He's pretty good. He's, like, impossible to block. And there's nothing else here that's good. I don't think the Janet Sentry is very good. Uh, the Eddie Trail Hawk is something I'd be very disappointed to take pick two. The High Spy Artisan is probably okay. I think, yeah, Chrono, so I think what I'm thinking is... The Voltaic Brawler is quite good, and if, you know, if we don't end up in these colors, like, so be it. But there's, like, nothing in this pack that we really wanted anyway, right? I'm drafting says, and I'm pretty sure the module cycle is going to cost me to lose a loss of drafts. I cannot resist the call. <laughs> hey, wizard. It's okay, at least, you know, you pick your pick your poison. Hey, Tez, I am good. How are you? Alright, so let's take the Voltaic Brawler. It's also, this is good in, like, a wanna bash deck, so. Spark of... Tez, we have drafted one time so far, and we 2 one with an Orzhov, like, artifact stack. Choose target creature, exile the top card of your library, you may have Spark of Creativity, deal damage to target creature equal to that card's, cards converted mana cost. If you don't, you may play that card until the end of turn. I'm kind of, like, don't, I'm not excited about that card, I don't think. We could take the Tiger, we could also take the Eager Construct. He's fine. Look at him. He's like, I'm ready to go. He wants to play ball. You see, he's like holding a little ball in his mouth. Um, we could take Build to Smash. Though that's not a combo with Fleet Wheel. Neat thing about Spark if it doesn't kill. Yeah, I think maybe I want the Tiger, right? I do like the Tiger a lot. Theorist and Hedge. And between the Tiger and the Eager Construct, I think I'm okay taking the Tiger. Uh, okay, there's a couple of good things here. Um, this is until end of turn, until end of turn, yeah. So there's a Fairgrounds Trumpeteer, which we can, which could be good if we draft a couple more things that give our creatures plus one, plus one counters. There is a Malfus Doorbuster, which is really good if we're drafting vehicles, because this guy can pilot some of the big vehicles by himself. Also, he wants to attack, because you pay, he gets two energy, you pay one, target creature can't block this turn. Um, also, we can make all these jokes about how there's do doorbuster savings when we draft Malthus doorbuster. <laughs> so you can't ignore that there is value on the table. Take the thing that gives you back your privilege. I think that's the doorbuster. Mainly like fist punch. Alright, uh, so let's take the doorbuster then. Um... Wow, this pack is bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like drafting to maximize comedy equity? You got the right idea, Penguin Farm. <laughs> um, I don't like Reckless Fire. We were in the kind of direct that we're drafting. I don't think Wild Bander is playable. We could take Build to Smash. See you, Squirrel! At least we'll tell you to take Aether Flux Reservoir. Who are you gonna call? Door Buster. I think I'm just gonna take. Yeah, we're drafting Kaladesh, hot man. We are pretty hype. See a squirrel. Yeah, we'll take Built to Smash. God, 
Built to smash in like every pack. Uh. Wow, this pack is so bad. I guess a tune with a ether gets a land out of our deck and gives us some energy and we have cards like Voltaic Brawler and Riparian Tiger, so I think we take this. Wait, a tune is ridiculous? What's a tune? Am I missing something? Oh, sorry, it's the card that I have selected. What am I talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. What card are you guys talking about? Is it literally the card I have selected? Uh, oh, I like Spireside Infiltrator. He's good at crewing the Fleet Wheel Cruiser. He's a 3-2 three, for 3, which is fine. I think I like that better than the High Spire Artisan. What does this guy even do? Contraband Kingpin. Look at this little smug face. 2 mana, 1-4, lifelink. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, scry 1. Oh, he thinks he's all that. Built to Smash is actually insane in green and red. I drafted the other day and didn't get there basically only because I didn't- Dude, Built to Smash is also amazing with like- I guess a uh, tiger already- Man, this tiger al also has trample? I think this tiger's awesome. Yeah, I think we're taking the Infiltrator Chronos. Um, this guy gets us a bunch of energy which we can use with the Voltaic Brawler and the tiger. Quicksmith Genius, whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control you may discard a card if you do- so he's a 3 mana 3 to loot with an artifact. We might want him. This guy seems like it's barely above replacement, and we might see another one. It's just like a common, who cares about it. Tiger is one of the best commons in the set. Yeah, he seems great. Lashcrypt says, why can't they just draw a card, the Aetherborn blue-black guy, instead of scrying one? Dude, that card would be so busted. Yeah, I think I'll take the... Oh! I took the Sage. That's my fault, because I had it, like, highlighted, not selected. Which, honestly, is not that big of a deal either way, but we should have ended with the uh, Scry guy and not the Sage. That's my B, though. Uh, probably just a Torch. We can take a Hijack for the sideboard. Probably just Hijack. Hey, lunch until you said hi. <laughs> Blue looks relatively open. Blue's fine. I think we just want a Wild Wanderer. Even though we're not super excited about it. Build to Smash or a Reckless Fire Weaver. What does this guy do? Decoction Module. Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you get an energy. Return to your control to its owner's hands. I don't think so. Common Lives Matter. <laughs> I guess we'll take the Reckless Fire Weaver, but not be excited about it. Uh, we'll take Fog. This no, I guess we'll take the giant spectacle. Yeah, whatever. Mine rot. Okay, we didn't get anything remotely useful in the last six picks. That was not good. This is looking fine though. I'm liking this so far. And this guy's quite good. Mavoteg Brawler. Hey, YY. Yes, we are drafting Kaladish. We will be drafting Kaladish for the rest of the night. I feel like there's all these like dirtily stupid rares that, that are just like random artifacts that do such random things. If an artifact or creature entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability or permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. That's Doesn't that seem like a Hearthstone card? Our last card is a Plains. So... You went into cruise control after your first pick. <laughs> Do you think so? I don't think so. I don't like- I don't love blue. Also, I- I get what you're doing- I, I get what you're saying, but I wonder if you're actually- I'm actually not sure if you're talking about the draft or no, you just wanted to. Yeah, this is like a mediocre pack. I guess we can take the Quicksmith Genius. Remember to return the lands you took from the land station after the draft is done. <laughs> Banana Man. What do you think is my favorite format to play? It's draft, booster draft. I think I'm gonna take this nonsense. I don't like anything else. This pack is heinous. Uh, we can take another paper tiger. 
durable a handicraft it's two mana whenever an enchantment enters a battlefield a creature enters a battlefield under your control you may pay one we do a plus one plus one counter on that creature sacrifice durable handicraft put a plus one plus one counter in each creature you control this card seems awful just a fleeting thought i had <laughs> all right calc <laughs> you got me yeah we can take a tune or the paper tiger You think the card is busted, the Handicraft? We do have a lot of ways to get energy. We don't have that many ways to spend it. That's why I kind of want the Tiger. Durable Handicraft look good, says Scarboros. I don't know. I, I like the Tiger a lot. And he also spends a lot of energy. Because it's like something that incentivizes me to continue spend energy because it's only until end of turn. But the guy has Trample too. Okay. Uh, we can take Brazen Scourge. What does this guy do? Target creature you control can be blocked this turn with by creatures with power two or less this turn. This could be quite good. It's easier to cast than the Brazen Scourge, too. Yeah, I like the Paper Tiger. Look at him. He's like, what's up? He also has big tusks. Since when did you have you seen a tiger with tusks? We might wield a eager construct from this pack. Green White would have looked insane. Yes, white was was pretty open. I think our deck is looking fine though. Thriving Grubs more synergistic. Actually, Thriving Grubs is good. I think I think one of these two might be better, and it's possible that we wield the Grubs. Um, tiger Stomp. I've gotten Stomp by Tiger, too. So I think I'm going to take the Scourge and hope to wheel the Grubs, the Guide, or the Eager Construct, and I think we'd be happy about any of those. Wow, Veteran Mutter is in this pack. Too bad we're not wide red vehicles. Fabrication module, whenever you get one or more energy, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature control and four and tap. Thank you, Nefidos. You get one energy. Oh, this pack is kind of garbage. I think we just take this guy. When Kujar's seed sculptor enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. We could have had both modules. See a card captor. Have a good one. You think fabrication module looks six? You guys don't like the Kuja's seed sculptor? He seems pretty good. It's a two mana two three. That's fine. We can take a third tiger. Paper tiger. I think that's what we're taking. Sequestered stash, add windings to your mana pool, four and sacrifice it, the top five cards of your library into your graveyard, then you may put an artifact card from your graveyard on top of your library. I think we're gonna take the tiger. Like, this, we take the tiger and this is the last five drop we take. We're just drafting tiger, <laughs> tiger tribal. Never too many tigers, yeah, let's take the tiger. Uh... I don't know how good larger than life is it looks really bad. I saw somebody somebody played this against me at draft weekend. They played the rare that you spend energy and it gets plus X plus X where plus X is its power. And so they just went like larger than life, spend energy, spend energy, spend energy, like attack for 50 or something stupid. I just like died immediately. Yeah, I'm not taking start your engines, don't worry. I actually maybe thought about putting a start your engines in one of my decks and then it was just like that's a crazy idea yeah we got the triple tiger La larger than life with death such is insane i mean i'm still gonna take it because we're not taking anything else we could take the terror or fairgrounds but that card seems like Ooh, i like the monitor yeah that pack's mediocre we're not gonna wheel anything from it either so we can take takedown deals four damage to our creature with flying, or takedown deals one damage to each creature with flying. Which we could get somebody that has stopters, but I think we could get the takedown later. The monitor also just like fits in our curve nicely. Larger than life is better than it looks in the context of this format with the green tramplers, but still mediocre. Yeah, I'm probably not starting it. Hey Zach, how are you? Really late, impeccable timing. What was impeccable timing again? Um, 
Wow, this is garbage. We have a Whirler Maker, a Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot. So we can gain three life and get three energy, and then when it dies, you gain three life and get three energy. Guess I'd rather just play the Inventor's Goggles. Do we even have Artificers? Elf, Druid, Human Warrior, Artificer, Human Rogue, Gremlin, Lizard, Human Warrior, Elf, Druid, we don't, and Bunch of Tigers. It's so bad. I don't even think... Man, I'll take it, but I'm, we're never playing it. Um, yeah, I mean, we might play it. It's very unlikely that we do. We can take the Puzzle Knot or the Fire Weaver. The Fire Weaver looks very bad in our deck, and we might want to board this in against X ones. Is the Tiger Artificer? I wish. What is the win con for this deck, Gabby Hero? It's uh, the Riparian Tigers. Hey, Lathier! Welcome on the first time sub. I'm gonna take the puzzle knot. Yeah, the, the, it's just mono tigers. We make a lot of energy and then we just like spend it all on the tigers. Lathier with the first time sub. Lathier since your first time sub. Couple questions to you. Where are you watching from? Hey, we uh, wield the durable, the durable handicraft. What is your favorite magic card? And what is your favorite ice cream flavor? And I appreciate the sub and the support. That is very kind of you. Thank you for joining us. Lathier. I'm doing yellow stars today. So, here is yellow star. Huzzah! And if you could whisper that to me, uh, or send me... What? It took a nimble innovator? Okay, I actually reserved that one. I'm pretty sure I reserved that one. I should just not trust Moto. That is my bad for trusting Moto. We wield this guy, so we'll take this guy. God, why? Take down. Guess we'll take the sequestered stash. Obviously, we goof picked the stupid nimble innovator. Three tigers we can't lose. This guy this guy seems insane actually. Dubious challenge. Four mana. Look at the top ten cards of your library. Exile up to two creature cards from among them. Shuffle your library. Target opponent may choose one of the exile cards and put it into the battlefield under his or her control. Put the rest into the battlefield under your control. I'm not into that. Yeah, it is, Molly. I, I'm pretty sure I reserved that one. I'm, like, very sure that I reserved that one, but who knows? It just doesn't work. Our last card is a mountain. I think we just want Harness Lightning. Look at that guy. He just wants to go ham. Two mana instant. Choose target creature. You get three energy. Then you may pay any amount of energy. Harness Lightning deals how much damage to the creature. We also have all these cards that make a ton of energy, so if our opponent never plays, like, a really big creature, we can just go pew pew. We want to take Servant of the Conduit? I think we just want the removal. Removal seems great. Servant of the Conduit. When it ETBs, you get two energy, pay one mana. Ah, uh, it's like the mana dork. What's he never reserve cards in Moto Gabby? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to take the Hardness Lightning, though. I think the pick is close. Fateful Showdown. Four mana. Fateful Showdown deals damage to target creature or player equals the number of cards in your hand. Discard all the cards in your hand and draw that many cards. Whoa, that's insane. Lathier says that A in my name is long, so Lothier. But it's whatever, lots of people mispronounce it. Uh, it is a made up name for D&D &D anyway. I'm from Texas. Hold on, let's. Yeah, do we just want the pinger? I think we just want this guy, right? I'm from Texas. My favorite magic card is Ad Nauseam. Guess what I play in Modern and Legacy and my favorite ice cream is chocolate chip cookie dough. That's also my favorite ice cream. Thank you for joining us, Lathier. I appreciate it. Welding Sparks. Do you guys want to take Welding Sparks? Thank you, Lost. Oh, yeah. I mean, Welding Sparks is very good. I think we just want the this guy. Um... So we can take uh, the Cobra. Hey, Cody! <laughs> the Kikido Mass Race. We should probably just have a poll where we pull, pull people for favorite ice cream flavors. But the problem is we can't. We get all these like super rare and obscure ice cream flavors and like flavors that we've never tried before. So we do a poll. We just can't keep adding them. Yeah, I think I might take the Hunt the Week. It's probably fine. Cody! Where are you? Where are you? Let me find you. There you are. Cody CJD. I did spell all right. Welcome, and thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. You guys can get some Viper Love in chat for Cody's arrival. 
Cody sincere first time, so I have a couple questions to you. This is first of all, this is your star. Second, where are you watching from? And what is your favorite magic card? Punt the week. Yeah. We will take the card so it doesn't like auto Ooh! This guy's great! I can't believe we found this guy. This is great news. Man, white is so open. Look at the sky wheeler shot. Just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just like going third pick. It's so good. And like none of the other cards in this pack are that great. You wanna take the snick? Yeah, we're not that defensive though. We're actually pretty like beat down. So we're gonna take the Outrider. Um, another two drop. How likely are we to have this guy be at two, three? Not likely, I don't think I want him. We could take another Spire Side Infiltrator, though we don't have that many vehicles, so it's not even like recruiting that much. What did Angry OB say? If it wasn't 2.33, I am going to drop this set. It is so fun. Yes, it came out uh, today, Angry. Oh, it does tell you that many cards in the top left. Wow, this is the first time I've ever seen that. I think I'm just going to take this guy. You guys want that Ether Hub? Enters the battlefield, you get an energy. Huh. I don't know. I think I'm going to take the Sculptor. But yeah, I, I agree that that was an interesting pick. We might have wanted that. Uh, I'm actually don't feel bad about it because we're not going to get anything in this pack. We might as well take Kirapur or a Re. Cody says, watching from the great state of PA. My favorite magic card would probably be Delver's Secrets. Awesome, Cody. Thank you so much for joining us. What's your favorite ice cream flavor, by the way? We can't miss on ice cream flavors. Why not the giant? I don't love the giant. I'm going to rare draft this guy. Uh, I guess we just take a Wild Wanderer, but we're not excited about it. We could also take six mana, six, six. I guess we're more likely to board into wanting the six mana, six, six than we are the four mana, like, splash of color. And we're not likely to play anything else, right? So I guess I'll take the six, six and not play it. Hey, a tune with the ether is quite good. Uh, so a tune with the ether, or we can also ruinous gremlin. Ether hub could have splashed virtuoso. Yeah, I think the tigers are enough to bend too, which is why I don't really want them. I also don't think I want the wild wanderer. I don't think this card does anything for us. Um, I like everything else we're running so far. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking, DC. Like, I don't think I'm playing the second tune, right? I don't know. I think I'd rather have this in the sideboard and bring it in than whatever we can get in the main deck. All these cards are garbo. We can take the dubious challenge and not play it. Right, it's ether. You are right. I need to... Yeah, I hate the puzzle lots. I don't think they're good. We <laughs> will dubious challenge. I mean, I'm gonna take it, but I'm not gonna play it. Uh, Self-assembler, sure. I don't think we're taking start your engine, so... Probably for the sideboard though. Another gremlin. Alright, get in there, little gremlin. Why is this puzzle not in our main deck? Don't think we want that. Take whatever this thing is. The giant might be fine. Because we're not playing takedown. So, built a smash, uh, a tune with the ether, harness lightning. Man, we're short like exactly one card. Punch Supper Victor says, if you play two a tune, going to 16 lines is a strong consideration. Well, I'm not, I can see that, but I'm, I, one, I'm not, and two, I didn't second pick the other a tune. Why can't I do my maximize a card to stop working? That's cool. It doesn't work anymore. That is like super tilt. Maybe I should just restart magic online, because I do that so often. Okay. Uh, save and continue, I guess. Let's restart real quick.
such a surprise. What? My password doesn't work. What are you talking about? What? My password's not working. Why? Dude, Life is Strange is great, PJ. I haven't uh, played the latest episodes, but it is quite good. I enjoy it quite a bit. Okay, now it's signing in. <laughs> no dragons one, two, three today. Yeah, I'm, I don't know what it was. I probably just typed it wrong, I guess. Let's go to play lobby, draft league. My desktop wallpaper is the Triforce. Edit the deck. Okay. All right, it works now. Cool, we did it. <laughs> um, so we're at 22. I think I'm playing the giant. Bye, Banana Man. Have a good one. Ooh, Mr. Serafika. Welcome. Mr. Serafika. Well, the first time so welcome and thank you. I appreciate it. You guys can get some Viper love for Mr. Serafika's first rival. Mr. Serafika, since your first time, stop a couple of questions to you. First of all, here's your star. Second, where are you watching from? What is your favorite magic card? And what is your favorite ice cream flavor? gonna do any seal to prepare for gps more uh am i even playing in a seal gp i don't even think i'm playing in a seal gp i can't even think of what it would be fantasia because all the gps that i'm going to in the near future are for coverage and none of them are limited they're all standard and modern what format is milwaukee you guys that, that's like the only one that i might play in that's the only one that i know i'm going to and has doesn't have coverage I'm going to Milwaukee. Is Milwaukee sealed? Hijack and Seals game were pretty aggro, so getting a... Yeah, we might we might play Hijack. See a Calc. Have to go watch someone who isn't afraid to put Dubious Challenge in their deck. Dubious Challenge? What does that even do? It is sealed. Hey there, sure, how are you? Yeah, it's like December, I think. Alright, so maybe that is the one limited GP that I will be playing in. So I will probably play a lot of limited leading up to that, Fantasia. Now that the stream is adult friendly, yes it is, sure. That's the unplayable rare where your opponent gets your best creature. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, one second, I got a message from my buddy. Let's see. I mean, we can actually take a look. He's playing a deck and he says, would you change anything here? I don't like running to a tune with the ether. What do you guys think? Um... Cody says, my favorite ice cream is definitely a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. I love it. You're in for one larger... and one orrery. Too attuned to find an island, but what is he playing with an island? I guess he could play the Imperial Voyager, huh? Yeah, me too. I think maybe he wants to play the Eternal Voyager. Maybe I would get really fancy get a mountain runnable tag brawler, but that seems sketchy. I was thinking maybe the Voyager. This seems pretty good. We get an island with it. Hmm. Casual Sky Sovereign? Yeah. <laughs> I'll never probably cast it on turn 3, but it's a turn mi 5 minor play. Yeah, but he has ways to spend mana, doesn't he? Yeah, you guys think... You guys would play the Savage Cloud Blazer? Well, he's splashing for Cloud Blazer, so he's looking at 
maybe playing the Imperial Voyager. This is my uh, my friend Parney is, I guess, playing Magic Online right now. He just sent me this and said, would you change anything here? He plays one island for Cloud Blazer. Yes, but if he plays two attune with an Aether, then he can play Imperial Voyager too. Minus one attune, plus one island, plus one Voyager. I mean, I think... I think if you have stuff like the hawk and the cub, you don't mind. Oh my gosh, I'm yelling. Actually, I could probably cut the Avery mechanic. Yeah, cut like, maybe cut. Hey, Watcher. Maybe cut the Eddie trail hawk. He doesn't really need to. And keep the tune and play the Voyager. Mr. Terrafica is watching from Las Vegas, Nevada. My favorite card is Westville yeah. Abbey. Westville Gooby. Favorite ice cream is red bean. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you said that because that ice cream is amazing and it's uh, criminally underrepresented in like the ice cream power rankings. <laughs> yeah, I think if he's like, he's thinking about not playing the two attunes, but what he can also do is just like play the two attunes, play the Voyager, cut an Eddie Trail Hawk, because like what is that hawk doing anyway, right? It's not doing a lot. Like you don't need two Eddie Trail Hawks. Yeah, his rares are amazing. He's got Sky Sovereign, he's got... Oh, oops, I moved. I messed up his deck. <laughs> Sounds good, Scarboros. It was good to see you. I feel like Hawk plus three Outriders is too good. How many Outriders does he Oh, he does have three Outriders. Probably cut a Cobra or... Yeah, sure, cut Cobra. Sure, cut Cobra. Keep the Eddie Tail. It is good with the Outrider. Hagen Dash Cheesecake Ice Cream, it is. Gaps, how would you rate this new set, Kaladesh? Yay or nay? I would rate it yay right now, right? Yeah, so, okay, so then I guess what we're suggesting to him is that he keeps the Hawks and cuts a Cobra and then keeps the Hawks because they're so good with the Outrider. Yeah, minus Cobra, plus one Voyager. Yeah, I dig it. By the way, we talked about this on stream. <laughs> hawk with triple Pema or rider though. Yeah, so that's why that's why we're saying like keep the hawk. So I think what he's gonna go with is thank you, zombie. Bye Damien. I think what he's gonna go with is keep the hawk, out one cobra, in one Imperial Voyager, keep both of two in the ether. Thank you, I am Super Vegeta. Alright, thanks for your input, chat. I think his deck is gonna be better off with that. Alright, so we were still looking at our deck. See you, Angry! Thank you, Arna. I think it's like really easy for them to splash the Cloud Blazer, though, Molly. With two attunes? Like, what else would you be running instead of the attunes? It didn't seem like he had that many play- Like, that many other things that he'd rather run over the attunes, so... At that point, he's just running a tune to get land, so he might as well just, like- He has, like, three free sources, I guess? Did he have the guy that taps for any color, or no? I don't remember. Anyway, we are building our deck. <laughs> Built to smash a tune with the ether. Harness Lightning, uh, two, three guy. Ku Kujar Seed Sculptor. Two and two three. Larger than life is like super medium. Sage of Sal Shalius claim. Voltaic brawler. The quicksmith genius kind of is doing nothing here. Aether torch. Either torch. Renegade. Spireside infiltrator. Brazing scourge. Airport guide. Worldfast monitor. Hijack. Malphus doorbuster. Hunt the weak. Pema outrider. Fleetwell cruiser. Wayward Giant, Riparian Tiger, Riparian Tiger, Riparian Tiger. So... I don't like either of these cards. I think they're really bad, especially the Quicksmith Genius. I feel like it does nothing in our deck. So we either play a Gremlin and just say like our opponent's gonna have main deck artifacts and we're just gonna use them to destroy them, or we play... This can't possibly be better than just playing this. 
Yeah, we might play a puzzle knot. We might play the fire forger's puzzle knot as the first thing, and then we cut. Hey, Woods! Welcome! Maybe we cut the larger than life. It's so mediocre in this deck, I think. Hey, Woods, with a first time sub! Thank you for the support, I appreciate it. Woods, 8, 4, 6, 0. Woods, since your first time sub, couple questions to you. We are you watching from? What is your favorite magic card? And what is your favorite ice cream flavor? If you would whisper that to me, I would really appreciate it. Woods, 4, 6, 4, 0. This is your star. Thank you, my friend. Hijack and take artifacts for what it's worth. Yeah. But, like, I don't want to run larger than life, so what do we play instead? Self assembler? Nah. Gear poor, whatever? Nah. Perpetual timepiece? That bit looks lonely. Thank you, Fakie. I appreciate it. I kind of wish the bits would keep from stream to stream. Our big cup from earlier today looked mostly thanks to Molly. <laughs> what would you guys play? You could see playing Wanderer over LTL. What's LT? Larger than life. Which Wanderer? Wild Wonder. Yeah, I can see that too. Make sure we make our fifth land drop to play the tiger. It's like so medium. I think nothing is. Yeah, we'll play the we'll play the wander then. It seems like so depressing to just be like larger than life. My voltaic brawler attack. Jesus Christ. Uh, seven ten. It suggests we do have double green in the paper tigers, but I think we can probably go nine. Eight, uh, because we do have these double red and hijack and brazen scourge and I would like to hit brazen scourge on three also we can make sure that the wanderer and the tune with the ether which we which casts us the tune with the ether can get the other red source or the other green source so thank you Hogan I appreciate that all right okay let's do this I think this looks good um Let's tweet this out, because I didn't tweet out. And we should tweet out our other deck as well. Uh, it's going to show up under collection, freeform. Now it's time to play the game where you try to figure out where anything is. What's it saying? Watching from beautiful Woodridge, Illinois. My favorite magic card is BFC Island. Oh, that's that's awesome. 255A. The art on the card equals faint. I have to check this out now. Uh, my favorite ice cream flavor is Caramel Collision. That sounds so fancy. I love it. Thank you so much, Woods, for the support. I appreciate it. Let's take a look at BFC Island 255A. What? Look at this. No oh, it showed up. It said image not available. That is really cool. This is it, right? I'm British and I dislike tea, but I have to know. Dude, I love tea. I was drinking tea earlier. Um, it's like an almond. It's, it's, it's in this little bag. It's like an almond nut. Thank you. Chill. My favorite card is... Beard of Homunculus? I love Beard of Homunculus. He's great. Are you Christian? Do you believe in God? I am raised Catholic, but I do not practice. Um, I have foil, one of those islands floating there. So it's really nice. How do, how do I find... Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard to find my latest draft here? Like, what is even this draft? TPR? Oh, Tempest Remastered? Yeah, that makes sense. BFC, 2016, 2000... See, this is what I don't get. It goes up, and then it just, like, goes back to 2013. PTQ1 deck, SOI, Zendikar. Holiday Cube, Holiday Cube, DTK, Alara... But I already finished that. I finished the other league, Molly. I'm talking about the old deck. 
You were just showing me a cathedral you wanted to go to? No, I told you that it was a cool cathedral because it was in the middle of downtown Chicago. I don't understand. I never get it. Wow, this cube deck looks amazing. SOI, <laughs> OGW, MM, ROE, Theros Blog, KTK. Leagues are never saved? You're joking. Wow, rip us. I guess we don't get to have a screenshot of that old deck. Favorite artwork in a card? I can tell you that. It is Paraseline. I'll show you guys Paraseline in a sec. It is a tree beautiful. Save as a red green energy. This card is just like too beautiful for words. I like, I can't even. I look at this card and I just, I can't even. <laughs> you have to take away this dumb Innistrad border thing that they added, but usually you just like see the forests like on the sides. Yeah. Yeah, Paraseline is awesome. We're gonna say two one with uh black white artifacts deck apparently lead decks don't save in my account. Sad face draft number two is red green energy. I hope that didn't have typos. 2-1 with a BW artifacts deck. Apparently league decks don't save in my account. Question mark, sad face. Draft number two is our green energy. And then a link. All right, cool, we did it. Hey, Lee. Lee, question to you. Why can't I see my league decks? Why don't my league decks save here? Hey, Speaker Ender with a first time sub. Welcome. You guys can get some Viper love for Speaker Ender's first time sub. Speaker Ender, since you're first time, I have a couple questions to you. Where are you watching from? What are your, your favorite magic card? And what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Two, one, three, five. Why can't I save my, my League Daxley? Would the, do they get saved in free form? I was just told that they don't. And I'm trying to find my old deck and I can't find it. I have to export. League decks are lost if you rejoin the League unless you manually export them. I haven't. If you haven't rejoined the league yet, you can export them to Freeform. Gotcha. So it doesn't save unless I export it. All right. So I guess we'll just be taking screenshots of... We have... We are not drafting with this deck, Louise. We're playing this. Uh, we haven't started playing with this one yet. We 2-1 with a black-white deck. Uh, speaker under here is your star, by the way. And if you could tell me where you're watching from, what your favorite magic card is, and what your favorite ice cream flavor is in a whisper, I would really appreciate that. Grizzlebrand promo is pretty sweet though. Yeah, have you guys seen my sweet, sweet Grizzlebrand? If you've been subbed for a year in this channel, you get a, a cupcake up on that Grizzlebrand. How will I remember the sick decks from my leagues then? Besides the many, many trophies, of course. <laughs> all right, let's see how we do with the red green energy. I think this deck is worse than the last deck we drafted. Though we do have all these paper tigers, which is pretty sweet. Riparian Tiger, you say? Okay. I have been paired in my league. Bell and Thor is waiting for you to respond. Alright, Bell and Thor. They say good luck, have fun. 
Speakers is watching from my computer. Happy face. Magic card is pernicious deed. Favorite ice cream is black raspberry. Thank you so much, Speaker. I appreciate the support. Make sure you join us on Discord too. Good luck, have fun, happy face. Okay. You think this deck looks better than our old deck, Molly? I thought our old deck looked very good. I would like to play first. Uh, yeah, this seems fine. We need to draw a couple lands, specifically another green source for the Paper Tiger. Yeah, Tiger seems good. I am excited about our Tiger. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, chat. I am, I am hype. Another one of those guys. We kind of need to draw a land. Uh, Sky Eclipse us. New set is good. We have drafted it one time so far, and uh, this is our second deck. We drafted white black artifacts last time. And draw land, draw green source. Come on. Yes! We did it! Uh, I think I'll put my counter on. I guess if I put it on my seed sculptor, then the sky skiff just keeps bouncing off of this, but otherwise, like, this guy can just kill the sky skiff. So I think I still just want to put the counter on the one that can attack. What was your one? Let's see. Go face? I am gonna go face. That is the plan. Bash. Next turn, if we draw a land within the next two turns, we can go Morphous, Doorbuster, and Triparian, Tiger, Riparian, Tiger. We're a beating face here. Gabby Theory? Gabby Theory, go Agar because you'll- I am happy that you guys made Gabby Theory into the thing, by the way. It is very good. Let's have six. Wait, my opponent didn't play a creature? Oh, my opponent is falling very far behind. I also have six, why didn't it work? Yes! What do they have at three that they didn't play anything? This feels like... Whatever that spell is that deals a attacking or blocking creature three damage. Sky Whaler shot or something. I mean, I'm not attacking no matter what. Manly Mech Fist Punch. Yes, we are gonna play that guy. The doorbuster savings are going to be fantastic. They didn't have a removal spell, I don't understand. I think maybe our opponent just kept the loose one. Maybe they kept the skiff and they were like banking on drawing a creature, and then like they haven't drawn a creature, so now they're like, what do I do? Impeccable timing, what does that do again? Hard. Hard, impeccable. The fact that they're playing a Prophetic Prism right now tells me that they just kept the loose one, I think. Miming Slime? That's not the card. I have three Paper Tigers. Ah uh, yeah, they're not crewing anything, I'm just attacking. I don't- I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want to pay. I guess I can pay- choose this and say... I don't want to though. I don't want to. No. Yeah, I, I guess it's not showing up for the MTG bot. So... Is it- They could have like board sweep here. I kind of feel like... I still want to play my Paper Tiger. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, Chimp, but I also feel like if they do have Fumigate and I just play my other Riparian Tiger, you know. So we didn't see anything, but we just did see two artifacts. We saw a Skiff and the Prophetic Prism. Maybe we bring the Ruinous Gremlin. And take out our worst card, because we have some loose ones, like this guy. The Wild Wanderer. And just send it in like that. We still don't know if the Fire Forger's Puzzle Lot is any good. You can get it with Exclamation Mark Spoiler. 
<laughs> the baby opened a mythical. I have not killed mine. Though I did find out that BK bought four draft sets for me. And... Yeah, I think we'll just do that. What's the best card I've pulled? I haven't pulled anything. I'm unlucky. This hand seems great. Let's keep it. Anyway, BK opened a, a draft set. I, I gave him like four draft sets. And he <laughs> opened a Mox Opal in one of them. It would have been my Mox Opal. Rest in peace, all my masterpieces that I'll never have. Cub. Cub is good, but they don't have energy yet. Let's just go Voltaic Brawler. <laughs> Rest in Masterpieces! <laughs> Let's go, Molly! Alright, let's see what this little punk wants to do. So when Aether Torch Renegade uh, enters the battlefield, you got four energy. You pay two, Aether Torch Renegade deals one damage to target creature. We can set up a turn where if they don't have energy quite just yet, which they might this turn, we can set up a turn where we go Aether Torch Renegade, Fire... We have to check our privilege. Built to smash? None of my things are built to smash right now. Thank you, I'm all. Alright, so what's the last ability? It's one, two, how many? How many is that? Is that eight? Yes, that's eight. Just six damage to target player. Yeah, the cub is insane. He seems quite good. Oh yeah, this guy's really good with the cub. Like, what do we do now? I guess we can just bash with this guy. Oh, we can just kill this guy if it tries to crew a vehicle. Thank you, freak one. And then we just like attack with this guy and this guy's gift doesn't, it doesn't even really matter. I guess if this guy becomes a 5-5, five five, like how do we ever deal with it? We don't, right? So we want to pay two, kill this, and then I guess play a Fleet Lead Cruiser and leave it back on defense? That sounds awful. This thing was summoning sick though. I couldn't do it on their turn. Oh, you mean now? Oh, that's true. We can't even... I guess we're kind of like priced into racing, huh? Okay. Uh, I'll pay to... I'll ping this guy. They didn't crew? Alright, that's just a punt. I guess we have some pieces to try to race. We have like a build to smash and this guy's good in attacking. If I guess this guy maybe is going to stay on defense, but he has menace, so. I think Long Tusk Cub is not underrated. I think people accept that it's a very good card. I think so. You guys can tell me if I'm crazy, but it seems like a very good card and I think people have taken notice.
So it takes two to crew this guy. Be nice if we drew a guy that can crew this. I have no idea, Lash Curve. Hey, Pogolo. That guy's pretty good. They're just gonna put it on the Long Toss Cub. Well, I know the Giant can crew it, but I'd rather... Alright, they're just bashing. God, we're gonna have a hard time with this. Yep. 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 <sighs> okay. So this thing is essentially a 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> I love this! Welding sparts! We can do it! <laughs> Thank you, lunch supper! That's great. Oh my god, I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're definitely on chumping mode. Um, I think we have to play the giant, crew the cruiser. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> play the giant, crew the cruiser, bash. Um, next turn, we block here, ping them, and they might attack with this, crew this with this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm thinking, Dave. See, I think it's like our only option, too. It is, I mean, we're just really far behind, so we just kind of have to do something, um... We just have to have to race, try to hope to race, and that they can't. They somehow like have nothing in hand. Oh, we can't pay, play. Uh, you can't ping face. All right, we're not pinging then. We are leaving him back though. He has to block the Tusker. It's so bad too, they're at 10. Like, we're not even that close to... The next turn, could you, couldn't you kill a 2-drop with your puzzle knot? Yeah, I can play it and sack it in the same turn. And still also have the mana for build to smash. So maybe that stops us from... Maybe we can stop them from like... They'll crew the sky skiff, but then they, they can block this thing and it's not that great. Because they can't even kill it. Our problem is just a cub. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we're out of the game. I think it's. I think we also have live draws. We we could draw harness lightning and just kill this thing, you know. We have enough, we'll have enough mana to kill it. Although, oh, they should put it on the skiff. Yeah, they did. Mm. I don't think so anymore, Pogolo. I think because of the fact that they have this thing now, I can't count on them not having any blockers. So, Oh, I guess I could go, like, if I 
Fire Forger's Puzzle Knot. I can't Fire Forger's Puzzle Knot. Pop it. Crew this thing. Because I won't have a creature to actually crew. So I think we're actually just locked out. Wait, they didn't attack with a cub? All right. This actually gives us outs, I think. They just put a counter on it and... Ruinous Gremlin. I don't think so, Pogolo. Hey, 3.30. They attack us with a cub, we're forced to have to block here. And then we untap and we have like a menace and a thing. We can crew, they can block. So actually we can set up for something interesting here because I think we can attack with a with a wayward giant. We have a couple of options because we can ping things too. Yeah, so we can use a gremlin to kill their vehicle, but I think we can actually um, attack with a giant. And if they double block, we can kill the long tusk cub. And if they don't block, we can just win actually. If we play the Ruinous Gremlin and crew the Fleet Wheel Cruiser with the Gremlin and this, we have the Cruiser and the Wayward Giant to attack. It's for 9. They might not block. If they don't block, we build to smash, we kill them. If they block, we can kill the Long Tusk Cub and then we can sack the Gremlin to this. And then we don't die to these. Yes. Okay, so let's do Ruinous Gremlin. I think this works, you guys. I think we want to attack with both. I think we want to crew the cruiser. Remember, the cruiser has trample. So if we go crew two, I think this works. I think this should work. He has mana for timing. I can't, we can't beat a spell. I don't think we can worry about that. Uh, yeah, crew these two. Yeah, not can go phase two. Like, it all, it kind of depends on what they have here in combat, but I think we might be able to pull this out. Boop, boop. Because I'm not going to use a spell here if I don't have to. Yeah, this was a close game. Because I can just use the puzzle not to f kill them off. They are going to put the cub in front of the cruiser, so we have to build to smash the guy. Yep. If they double block the cruiser, are we just dead? I don't know, but we have to be able to smash this guy. And just hope to god that nothing happens. Alright, um, so we want to have the mana to blow up the skiff, and we'll take two. Yeah, we'll have to kill the skiff. We can't, uh, this is three mana, right? Yeah, so we can't play the knot. We just passed. We, we just gotta hope to get lucky. They'll definitely crew the skiff, because the skiff is just three power. Yeah, I think so, Syriana. I think we're giving ourselves a shot here. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff that could go wrong. Like, if they can kill the skiff, um, or if they can kill the ruinous gremlin before they have to animate the skiff, we're dead. 
kill on your turn to avoid build to last. Zach, don't I want to commit them to tapping one of their creatures to it? And then, like, that also buys me more time in case something goes wrong, potentially. Maybe it's, like, too passive to do that. Maybe I should be more aggressive. They're playing a uh, bird. They're not attacking? They're not crewing it? That... That is... That was kind of weird. <laughs> he didn't attack. Yeah, I think I'm gonna kill it now, and then next turn we can go Puzzle Knot, this guy kill one of these guys, and then this guy attacks, and he only has these two left, so they both block, they can't even kill it, and we kill the Skyway guy. Alright, so it's dead. Alright, so we Puzzle Knot one of these guys. Yeah, we puzzle not one of these guys, use this to hit it a second time, it's dead, attack with a menace guy. Oh, they actually don't have to block. Oh, that sucks. Hey, Abrarb. Oh, but we can just crack it a second time so they are forced to block it. Otherwise, if they take it, they just die. So yes, this does work. Okay. So let's go... Puzzle not... Yeah, that, I forgot the Puzzle Knot can sack a second time, so they have to block it. So let's hit this thing for one. Let's hit it for another. Okay, attack. With this guy. Wow, this Puzzle Knot has, was insane, jeez. They're forced to block. We kill the bird. Kill the bird. This thing is 3-4, right? Um, and we'll take one from that guy, which is fine. We'll hold on to that puzzle knot. Okay. Okay, now we just need to fade something this turn. Yeah, this has been, like, such a good game. This has been a great game, honestly. They said GG's. Oh. That was a close game. Thank you, Jangles. Wow. We won that. That was crazy. That was such a good game. I'm happy we're recording this one. <laughs> puzzle knotted. It did a lot of work, that puzzle knot. Yeah, that was a rad game for sure. That's why you play magic, it's for games like that. Um, okie dokie smokies. I am gonna go get Soylent, because it's what I'm gonna have for dinner. And I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. I'm gonna play an ad for you guys, and then we will be back and we'll play round two uh, of this deck.
Hello. <laughs> I wonder why BK wasn't his. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the chair hype emote. I always forget it. I'm so sorry, chat. I will do better next time. How many X1s do you need to see before that feel like the red puzzle knot is a good sideboard? I'm not sure, Sensei. I think uh, it's very likely if you're drafting red that you just can end up with a puzzle knot very easily. Because a lot of times it will just be the best card that you can take, and I think it'll make it into your main deck every once in a while. So I wouldn't like take it super highly, but I think it's just very likely that you're already going to have one, if that makes sense. There also are a lot of X1s, because... You can't hear me? Can you guys hear me? Looks like it's working. Did Twitch shut down for a second? Can you guys hear me? Or are you guys just trolling? You can hear me? Okay, somebody said they couldn't hear me. That was kind of confusing. Anyway. I think you are just happy to have a puzzle mod. Like, I think you'll easily end up with a puzzle mod on your sideboard if you want, so. Alright, hot sauce 11. Alright, cool, thank you everybody. Is anybody else having Twitch problems? I haven't had Twitch problems, but I haven't been watching Twitch. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I think we're running the puzzle mod just because we're, like, one card short of just, like, having a better playable or whatever. It was actually insane there, but... Oh, this is awesome, because, uh, uh... It looks like it says a rune with an ether, even though I know it's a tune. Hey, Lepier! Is it Lepier or... Leapier. Leapier. <laughs> Can you just tell me how to pronounce it, actually? With a first-time sub, welcome! How are you doing? Thank you so much for the support, I appreciate it. You guys can't get some Viper Love in chat for Leapier's first arrival. Leap here since your first time sub. A couple questions to you. Where are you watching from? What is your favorite magic card? And what is your favorite ice cream flavor? And this is your star. And can you whisper that to me so I don't miss it? Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep this. Uh, so yeah, let's just go this. A tune. Other people's had issues, but none here. Alright, so we'll take a mountain. Oh, look at our, look at our sweet, sweet energy. Yeah, a tune is good. I like that card. <laughs> Jeez, that was an amazing draw. Wow. Alright. We'll take brother, let's go. You're a big fan because of elves. Yeah, it is good. Feels good, man. Feels amazing, man. They played that thing. That thing is fine. I think I just wanna use energy and make it so that this thing can't block me this turn because that would be a tragedy if it did Boop. yeah feels amazing man yeah i'm gonna stop doing it Bernine. what will happen when you're out of places with stars i'm doing it up until 500 when we hit our 500th our last sub i will stop doing it then uh, I think next turn, it kind of depends on what we do. We might um, play the Seed Sculptor and have built a smash up. And if we put just like a plus one, plus one counter on this guy, then this guy can't block it anymore. We can also put a plus one, plus one counter here and then just use the energy from this guy. Oh, wow. Pawn is kind of going ham. Oh, but we drew the mountain. I kind of want to go attack with a brawler, use the energy, put seed sculptor in play, put a counter here, attack with both, and what they don't, and if they block we just build to smash, and if they don't we just play like puzzle knot maybe? Hey, hi Seraph, how are you? Nothing feels better than the deck with five attunes. That's that might be like too much attune. Yeah, I think I'm gonna seed sculptor uh, on this guy and then bash. You wanna do it on the brawler? I feel like if we put it on this guy and then we attack with both and the energy, we're just like can attack with both. 
Hmm. I think it's a tough decision, actually. Because we have a lot of ways to get energy in this deck. I think I'm going to put it on the guide. And then just bash with both and activate the Voltaic Brawler. See, and now if they want to block, we're just going to get them so good. My ankle is much better. Thank you for asking, Drino. Uh, I can walk now, which is... <coughs> putting it on the guide to keep pressure, they just block and smash. Yeah, so if they're, they're kind of like... It's hard for them to be taking this much damage, to be taking 8. Yeah, so they did block there. Thank you, Josen. And we just get to build to smash. Wait, I'm trying to cast the mountain. That's not how that works. Uh, yeah, and then we just play a mountain. Pass. They played nothing? Ooh, we drew a paper tiger. We want to get the land for that. Target creature control can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. I think we just bash with everybody. Then play the wanderer, play a land, and next turn we play paper tiger. <laughs> I fell down a flight of stairs when I was in Seattle for the world championship and I sprained it. That was my favorite snack food. Um... That's a good question. I really like snacks. Probably ice cream. <laughs> you stepped up for boost and sushi? Uh, we had a super sick game last year. I don't think I'm gonna pay for this one. How much damage is actually coming through? Four, five, eight. Yeah, let's not pay for this one. I think we might need that in a, for in a future turn. They clearly have something here. They're just chumping or do they have a pump spell? They're just chumping. Who's my favorite dragon? <laughs> Is that a trick question, lady? Uh, I'm gonna take a forest. I do like chips and salsa. I like corn-based snacks, if that makes sense. Like, I like... Okay, we won. Uh, I like the... Um... Ooh. Hello. I need a second. Hey, S13 driver with a first time sub. Welcome. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a seven month free sub. <laughs> I was gonna say, S13, thank you so much for that seven month free sub. I really appreciate it. You guys, can we get some Viper love for this seven month return? That is awesome. Thank you, S13. It's a lot of months. Uh, okay, I need to do this real quick. Um,. Is your volume? I was just lowering yours. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. Let me share the screens. Thank you, Matt. Too. Look who it is, everybody. Uh. Oh, that's. Share screens. The that screen. Alrighty. Brb is back. Yes. Ish. 
Uh, except your... Hey, Locopelli, thank you. Except your camera's not moving. All right, I oh. figured it out. Is it moving? There you go. No, no it's not. Is it moving? Yeah, 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 you're good now. I could just be very, being very still, like I said before. It's just that's, I don't think anybody buys that, like, at all. <laughs> can, you guys Wait, hear Louise, can you guys hear Louise fine? Uh, relative to my volume. They should be the same. I was use a card shark. Are you a card shark, Louise? Uh, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> hey, local Pelly, is this your first time? Subscribe? Probably. To you. Where are you watching from? What is your favorite magic card? And what is your favorite ice cream flavor? And let me get you your star. Loco Pelly. Get your stars while they're hot. They're only going to last until 500. This is a regular chair. Here's your star, Loco Pelly. Alright, we did on board, but that doesn't matter. We will be fine. We're I don't even see what we have. Uh, we have a hijack in our deck? I mean, we were kind of like scrapping for playables at the very end. This Jeez. hand looks great. This hand's unbeatable. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Immediately draw the hijack. Well, there we go. Uh, um, yeah, let's get a forest. Actually, this deck looks very good. Yeah, I think it, with the exception of the hijack and like there was one more card or so that we just kind of like had to put in here because we started out white, I think. Um, and then things kind of, yeah, it's this puzzle knot. Although to be fair, I don't know if you saw the last game, the puzzle knot was just like insane. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to pump this guy when I attack. Probably not. Though I guess I don't really know what you're spending energy on. Uh, we have a bunch of things that spend energy, but this is one of the big guys. Um, we have, a uh, three riparian tigers. <laughs> paper tigers. I, I keep calling them paper tiger, and, like, that's clearly wrong, and I'm gonna clearly get a... Return target tab creature to its owner's hand square one well. Now I'm happy that I didn't... Wait, this actually gives us something to do on this turn. Yeah, that was actually fine. Pa paper tiger's great because that's also the name that we were calling, uh, Chion's team at, in Louisville. <laughs> Because paper tigers are stronger on paper than they are in actuality is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know all the card names yet? Uh, I don't... No, that's what I'm trying to learn. I keep calling these. I keep, I keep calling cards by stupid names. Like I keep calling this like paper tiger. I keep calling the Pricotta pillar bug. I keep calling it like pillar bug and just like stuff that is uh -huh. clearly not right. Um, Pricotta pillar bug. Yeah. Pricotta pillar bug. Is that what it is? Do you know all the card names yet? Oh yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> this is not true. Apparently I'm a lot louder than you, which is true in general, but uh -huh. I think that this is actually might be a volume. All right. That's what, I... that's what people are saying. Okay, I will switch it uh, about yay. Okay, how does Louise sound now? Hey, Harold, how are you? I'm not going to pay for this. Your ears? I think he should be fine now, right? I, like, cranked you all the way up. That was clearly my mistake. What? Insidious will counter target spell you may choose new... What? This is stu What? This is stupid! <laughs> 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 this game was going so well. Oh, yeah, now you're dead. Jesus, dude. You Wait, can just play the 4-5, I guess. You muted? Wait, am I... I'm not muted. What are you doing? What did you do, Louise? I just pretended to talk for like 10 seconds, so it looked like I was muted. Uh. <laughs> That's a classic, though. I, I do enjoy it. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, so much for like... This is, just, this is a bad 30 seconds. Like, there's just like volume problems, and then you got counterspells into Sky Sovereign, and I pretended I was muted. Like, it was just not a good, not a good <laughs> run. Like, seriously speaking, though, how do we win this game? Is it like... You just play the 4-5. Yeah, well, I'm talking about, like, not just this turn, but in general. Yeah, just play the 4-5. That's not what I meant at all. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can maybe get some value by uh, hijacking the Sky Sovereign, I mean, but... at some point, I have, like, I have the World Fast Monitor, and I also steal it and crew it. Oh, uh, they, they played a 2-4? My guy has Menace. Yeah, but I'm thinking, like, if you, you could take... I guess you could go, like, take Sky Sovereign, puzzle not the... The pea fowl, crew the sky server and attack for six and shoot down the pea fowl. That's probably. How am I gonna good. shoot down the pea fowl? It's a two four. 
Yeah, but you have the, the puzzle knot. Yes, I can shoot it twice. No, no, no. You, you can hijack the, 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 the boat. Yes. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, hijack the boat, hit it for three. Yeah, you have to attack the stupid I need to crew guy. the boat with this guy, right? Mm -hmm. And then that puts your opponent to 11, and you have giant plus fleet wheel cruiser. That's like, that's decent. I think that's probably good. All right, I think I'm in. So let's uh, hijack this little punk. Because I think the problem is, like, you can't... If you play cruiser or monitor, they, they just it's eaten by the boat. All right. So, yeah. So let's uh, hijack the Sky Sovereign. Hi. Is it unfair? <laughs> oh, I haven't I've even crewed on Magic Online yet. I see. That's how you crew. Yeah. This is how we crew it. I want to do it now so that I just shoot it down when I attack, right? Seems pretty smart. They have a green open. They could have blossoming defense. That would be like kind of unfortunate. Yeah, we do. We're Dobbs. They'll also just like let it happen and then I'm gonna attack. It's gonna be tilt, dude. Oh, I guess that cruiser was safe from the boat. Yeah. Taste it. God no! Come on. Ah! Well, this worked out way better than playing Fleet Wheel Cruiser, because otherwise your opponent would just eat in your Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Sure, but this still just feels awful. Well, it's not good for you, but you're not you're not dead yet. I think you're actually like not quite dead. We went from like can't lose to like this is this is awful. Hey, Luda, Matt, welcome with our first time sub. Luda, since you're a first time sub, couple of questions to you. Where are you watching from? What is your favorite magic card? And what is your favorite ice cream flavor? And here's your star, my friend. Hey, they have a paper tiger too. Rip. Rip tiger. Aye. But can your opponent even attack here? I mean... This isn't... No, this isn't good. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. This is good, I think. That they're crewing and attacking us here? Yeah. Because you think Th we can try to race? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we can just, like, jam with the fleet workers. Hey, Sheriff! Welcome. Sheriff does like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff3287, you guys can get some of Upper <laughs> Love in chat for Sheriff's first arrival. Um, oh, that, that, was, that was an insanely good draw. Wow. Uh, let's see, 10. No, but the problem is you're still dead. Because uh, huh. if they just bash with these two and I, I just don't have a blocker, I guess I can leave this behind, block this. But it has trample to just pump it. And Skyship and just like And then this guy just, yeah. Aren't we just Dobbs? Um, no. Yeah, but Zach, if we played Puzzle Knot afterwards, they just wouldn't they wouldn't have just yeah, they wouldn't have blossoming defense the thing. Uh the problem is if you play Seed Sculptor and then they basically they have one card, you could just try to operate under the assumption they don't have a have a three power creature. And do what? Just hit for nine or ten, hit for ten, and then your opponent's at one and and if they have a three power creature you lose, otherwise you win. Dude, that's risky. I don't know. I guess they only have one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, they have... Basically, for them to have lethal, they have to attack with Sky Sovereign plus Tiger. No, they just need a one power creature. Never mind. Why one? Oh, because they can leave a bird behind. Because the stupid... Yeah, the stupid Tiger is So we just have to stuff. fade a creature, I guess. You could try to fade a creature. Ugh. Uh... You could also... I just feel like if we don't attack it's so bad because then the Sky Sovereign gets in and just shoots whatever down, so like... Yeah, I'd probably just go for it, like whatever. Yeah, alright. So, Fleet Wheel Cruiser, attack with this guy. Put the... You wanna you wanna sculpt on I... the like giant, Yeah, I put the counter here and then put him to one and pray. Mm-hmm. Alright. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Wow, vehicles mess up F8, don't they? Yeah, they do. Ugh. They, like, do really badly, too. Okay. F6. 
Do they even have outs? Do they even have outs? Do you hear yourself? They any, one para outs. any one power creature. Obviously, they're just like immediately tapping. God! I mean, Sky Sovereign is just an unreal card. It's, is it the best? No, it can't be the best runner in the set. It might be close, though. It's got to be in the top five. We don't die the booty if they don't have a creature that can crew the the Sky Sovereign. But if they have any creature that can crew it, then we're just dead. Yep, the good old swing out and play. And it was exactly lethal. Damn. Rip, dude. That was rough. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, you could put in the stupid ruinous gremlin. Do you have any way to kill artifacts? Uh, the gremlin. Just thought it. Hey, fish man, fish fish. <laughs> With the first time, so welcome. It might be better than Fireforger's puzzle knot. I don't know, unless you saw one toughness creatures before. No. Plus, you have a seed sculptor. Turn on gremlin, turn two seed sculptor. Game. I don't. I don't think we've seen X one creatures. I don't remember honestly, dude. I have. I think I have a fever. It's every time I leave the the computer, I like go do something else, and I realize that I feel actually really bad. And then when I'm playing Magic Online, I don't think about it at all. I don't know if that happens. Uh, to you have a fever for magic online. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so let's Oh, Quicksmith on. genius. <laughs> She's so bad in this deck. He doesn't do anything. I just like the card. I know you do. I know you do. You're, you're, uh... You're edited of that card. It was a good fish, man. Fish, fish, thank you so much for the sub. Here is your star, my friend. And if you could whisper all those questions to me, I would really appreciate that. You guys, if you don't send me whispers, I'm not going to see them because the chat moves too fast and... I actually pay less attention to the chat when I'm playing with Louise. Don't worry, I, I got it covered. Mm -hmm. If you say it in the chat, I'll, I'll, I will see it. Alright, that's good. That works. Um, do we bring another one of these? Nah, yeah, one's probably fine. You don't want to drop two. Uh, I don't have any sealed tips yet, Dr. Voodoo. I don't actually know. Well, is, how this, thing, is this thing any good? I, I, guess guess, yeah, the, good I, I guess stealing the Sky Sovereign just like tastes yeah. that, right? Yeah. Hump wasn't streaming when I got off work. That's his bad. <laughs> yeah, we have a fear that can only be temporarily killed by empty Jew. But you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like when you get distracted, like you're feeling bad, but then you get distracted by something else, and then you just don't think you don't think about the fact that you're feeling bad because you're like so concentrated on the other thing, and then before you know it, you like feel better. I we'll like to play first. This hand is awful, man. This hand would have been fine if we had a green source. Yeah, but you don't, so it's bad. This is fine. This is fine. Are you gonna say that we can't lose with this hand? Because that happened before Sky Sovereign just owned us. Don't think I want that. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I feel good about this one. Mm -hmm. Just said, the reason I don't think Chandra. I said this in my set review too. The reason I don't think Chandra's going to see quite as much play as her power level might indicate is she's just very bad against vehicles, and there's just a lot of great vehicles. Not going to pump here. Eh. They also have the one mana return your card, the tapped creature or whatever. Thank you, Zespan. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. This is pretty good. If they tap out for a creature and you can just hunt the weak. Oh, yeah, we're going to go Helmf. They did uh -oh. it. We're just gonna bash though. Yeah, this sucks. Yeah. Cute four drop, you couldn't lose. Just don't right. have anything. Still, pro still probably can't lose. Tap out for a creature. Tap out for a creature. They're gonna tap out for like a three drop and leave it blew up. Just like. Oh, we can eat this guy. Hmm. Nah, oh, actually, we can't. Big. This is a sorcery. God. Well, it's also just there's no there's no good fights here, <laughs> thank, unfortunately. Thank you, Molly. I appreciate that. I guess we can still just like pump this guy up and give this guy menace, and then like the blocks are heinous. Mm. Oh, paper Ooh. tiger's good. I might just go tiger and go. I don't know. Don't we have to attack this and pay energy? Yeah, but like they're not gonna it'll... block, so we just get into. Free well, th this it'll be a four-three trample. You could just attack, just attack with both. It's probably fine, just because you don't want them to have a creature in play for a stupid sky ship. Yes, fair enough. Yeah, right. I would pay. I would probably not pay the energy though. I don't because it doesn't change the combat here, right? No, it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, it it could mean that they trade, but I think we're fine because we just play paper yeah. tiger. Okay. Yeah. 
Deck of the Weld Fast Marner and Voltaic Brawler. Voltaic! I did that on purpose, actually. Okay, I, okay. I, I don't believe I it. Know it. I don't believe you. Why would I not know how to pronounce just a very common card? <laughs> you really messaged me not knowing how to pronounce that. It's Voltaic or Voltaic? It's Voltaic! <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty good. Are you, are you drinking Soylent? No, I'm drinking... I'm talking about the board situation. I'm uh, drinking Soylent. Okay. <laughs> no one ever drank Soylent and said, hmm, this is pretty good. That's true. <laughs> That's not, <how> <laughs> That's works, not so. what you do when you drink Soylent. People drink Soylent and go, hmm, this will fulfill my nutritional needs. <laughs> They're gonna go Sky Sovereign and kill our Voltaic Brawler. Oh, they have a Paper Tiger of their own. Oh, uh, now you can just Now we destroy. can just how oh, tiger crap. it. Oh, crap. Wow. Actually, you can just kill them now. Oh, you could have just killed them before. Wait, no, you couldn't have just killed... Yeah, you could have just killed them no, before. I mean, Either I way. Just, I just yeah. play this, put a counter here, hunt the weak, this guy here, attack, pump, pump. Well, I guess you have to worry about the stupid blossoming defense card. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, that's not too bad, because if they blossoming defense, it counters the fight. So your, your creature won't die to it. So that that's pretty good. We still get the plus one, plus one counter. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so then we should still do it. So I yeah, guess like we go Seed Sculptor counter here, right? Uh, I like on the tiger. Or the tiger, because he has trample? Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 tiger. They both have trample, but yeah. This guy has trample? No, he doesn't. It, it gets trample. Oh, okay, sure, that's fair. Uh, put a plus one, plus one counter. Choose target you control. Choose target you don't control. Um, yeah, so even Blossom Defense, they still... They don't die, but it's really bad for them. Nom, 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 nom. They did Oh, have... they, had, they had Ornamental Courage. Plus one, plus three until end of turn. So uh, are, are, I think they're dead still, because well, they we... have a Tiger with one Toughness, and you have 12 points of Trample, yeah. Yeah. So you want to spend energy on both of on your both things. both of them, yeah. Uh, are you going to get a draft trophy? Uh, we were close with the last draft. Uh -huh. We lost in the finals. What's your record with this deck? Uh, this is about to be 2-0. Jeez. Taste the Paper Tiger! How you like me now? Yes, just one damage. That was a good damage assignment. Yeah. Smart. I thought it was great damage assignment. Bam! That was awesome. You beat Sky Sovereign. No, we didn't really beat Sky Sovereign. <laughs> we got owned by Sky Sovereign. No, we lost to Sky Sovereign now. <laughs> I don't know if this format's fast or slow yet. It feels like there's some really fast draws capable with, like, Renegade Freighters and stupid, like, Voltaic Brawlers and stuff. But uh, there are also a lot of dirtily you decks. You said it wrong again. I don't know if you're doing that on purpose. <laughs> I think you might be. I think you did at the time. <laughs> that was on purpose. No, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to play first. Do you just have a, a turn to a Voltaic Brawler every game? Yeah, it's nice. Wow. And then you have Sage of Shayla's Claim into Pima Outrider and Riparian Tiger. Game. I mean, we need to draw a green source, but yeah. And you're putting a mulligan to five? No, wow. we are very lucky. We're kind of guaranteed, it. guaranteed victory. He's not always doing it on purpose, Mice. He legitimately didn't know how to pronounce it at some point in time. At some point in time, yes. Today I knew how to pronounce it, though. Wow, That's... three drop two. Is this deck great? I guess if you have turn two Voltaic Brawler every game, it's great. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think, like, cards 21, or it's like 22 and 23 are, like, pretty medium, but I think the rest of the deck was pretty good. We started drafting something else and we just got kind of pushed out. I think maybe the person next to me like decided to move into our colors or something. Mm. I haven't seen- I, I didn't see any of the drafts. Oh wow, oh. that was very lucky. <laughs> Dear did god. It. All right. I almost feel like you should spend the counter now because you have the stupid Sage of Shayla's camp claim. Yeah, and we're gonna just be getting like a ton of energy anyway. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. A ton of energy or however the little icon goes like this or whatever. <laughs> Take my energy. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, just make that Voltaic Brawler a 4-3. Oh, oh I, 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 I would not have spent energy on that. Shut up. I made them spend an energy. I guess that's fine. That's, that's nonsense. I'm not worried about that. Oh, no. I just play this guy probably. Even... Yep. I guess I missed out on F6 value here. Wow, we could just draw green swords. That would be amazing. Amaze! Yeah, that would be good, but you're still just kind of crushing your opponent. Mm, we drew a mountain. Mountain's bad, but you can still, like, make the 3-3 three, three into a 4-4 four, four and then smash. Yeah. And then play. I guess we can't play this guy, too, so it's fine. Kujar Seed Sculptor. Eh, I'm still getting the names. Yeah, so am I. Kujar Seed Sculptor. Some of the names in Kaladesh are coming. Uh -huh. I would have bashed the Gyropur guide, too, while your opponent was tapped out. You think? Yeah, I mean, they, I, don't, I, I guess that... What, I guess they don't actually have that many combat tricks that can matter. Also, game. Uh, I think keeping this guy is fine if they're playing a... Hey, Cornhorn! Yeah. 16 months. 16 months. Race up. Damn, Corn. That's a long time. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Thank I didn't even so know you had been making quality content for 16 months. Thank you. <laughs> But to be fair, when the stream first started, I think it was definitely a lot more loose. Um, is Torch Gauntlet playable? What does Torch Gauntlet do again? Two cost, two to equip, plus two, plus oh. Oh, is that the card yeah. that our opponent just... Uh... Mm-hmm. Doesn't seem, change anything? seem very good. I don't know about the hijack. Didn't seem like... Uh... Hijack's not great against Red White, but I don't see anything that you really want to play. We could play yeah. this guy. Uh, where is he? There's a guy that I was thinking of. Maybe he's just in our deck now. Pima oh, yeah. Rider? That, that no, no, no. So the Wild Wanderer is the guy that yeah, like was fine. basically like the last card to make it. Because it doesn't really do anything. Like We talked about at 5, you know? Squirrel loot I have. Yes. <laughs> Hogan's so rude. <laughs> um. I wasn't implying that, Hogan. I would say she's been, her stream has been producing quality content for exactly as many months as I've been subbed. Because I subbed when it started. No, actually, I don't even remember when I subbed. You subbed very close to when I started. How, how long, do you know how long you've been subbed? I think you've been subbed for like maybe like a couple months less than the most you could have been subbed for. No, I canceled it a few months ago, so I, I haven't really kept this thing. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to send it in. Hey, Emperor, how are you? Oh, we, I guess we could play Quicksmith over Hijack. I mean, I don't know. You, you also get the value of being able to go like that every single time that we cast it. Oh, yeah. I'm just excited to draft after you just crush this person. I haven't drafted the set online yet. Mm. I was going to stream today, but literally everyone is streaming today, so it just seemed like... I don't know. Well, everyone's hyped up just, about the set. This hand, yeah. is, this hand is bad. Like who's streaming? Oh, yeah, like... I guess Kenji and Chion both stopped, huh? Yeah, I mean, they were going for most of the day. Yeah. Um, I want to mulligan this. Uh, sounds like a good idea. Alright. Ugh. I, I would keep this, I keep but... this, but I, and I pray that this is a mountain. Yes! Wow. Don't, don't, don't use it all up. <laughs> I want that trophy, man! <laughs> no brawler mulligan. <laughs> hey, Wolf, how are now you? I have Welcome. Rock the Cosmos stuck in my head. Rock the what? Rock the boat? Rock, rock the Cosba. What is that? Sharif, don't like it. I have never heard this song. Y you definitely have. Really? Ooh, this oh, construct. So I'll bet you any amount. <laughs> yeah. This construct's so eager. Let's scry. All right. Man, after being absolute treasure, my first Calidus first draft ever, but still seeing Gabby Domain. That's also a mess. Esper. Is that the link? Mm-hmm. All right, hold on, let's click it. Uh, I would like to use the ability. Yeah, well. you should scribe too. That would, that would also do that. Oh, yes, I have... Why is this in your head? Because someone named Sharif joined the... was <laughs> sub today, and I said Sharif did like it. They approved of it, because that was a good joke. And they're smart. So we have a Rock. forest on top. Uh, I don't know 
know that we even need like we would want to do the fleet wheel cruiser but like we're gonna draw one by the time we play this guy i think oh yeah i would ship it all right but if you miss on your fourth land no, drop there it is. Shh, shh, i will claim shh, that i would have kept it <laughs> shh, shh, well everybody knew that already so paul, paul is well acquainted with that uh that <laughs> that particular because maneuver. you do it every single time <laughs> Ari says, I haven't played like two yeah. years, this is a good time to get... Yeah, it is, Ari. I think so. Yeah, re-rift. Uh, a, new, a new set coming out definitely makes makes me want to make to play more, so... It also is a good time because like you're not behind on the learning curve, if that makes sense. I think I just want to play this guy. Speak for yourself. <laughs> you want to play this guy? No, no, no. I, being behind on the learning curve. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to play this guy. Yeah, yeah, fine. yeah the, the, this is because every time it happens, it's like in before you say, like, nah, I was definitely just like strictly better to play that Aether Torch or the Aether Torch Renegade. I'm not going to disagree with you unless we get more information that would then make it wrong. <laughs> that would be... Hey, R Smooth Droppings. Welcome. You guys can we get some Viper Love for R Smooth Droppings? That's a funny name. The first time sub. Why is Moose Dropping since you're a first time sub? A couple of questions to you. Where are you watching from? What is your favorite magic card? What is your favorite ice cream flavor? And please whisper that to me so I don't miss it. But here is your star. If it's not Moose Tracks, then I'm going to be disappointed, though. Yeah, probably. Rock that cast, wow. Exile the top card of your library. You yeah. Have. What did they do? They exiled a planes, and then they played it. Oh, whatever. Uh, I kind of don't want to block. Yeah. This construct's too eager. Uh, Ruinous Gremlin? Okay. I would have probably played either Torch Renegade last turn. Because then you could shoot down I get the, it! I get it! <laughs> you could um, shoot down the, the, the Ruinous Gremlin. Well, we definitely then... don't want the Gremlin to kill our fleet weed cruiser, so I guess we can just go like attune with the ether, play this guy. Eh, I would probably just cruise. Still? Like, he just, like, gets the, to aim our cruiser, though, dude. Well, he, he, he has to sack his thing. The problem is if you... If you play a Renegade, and then your opponent Runa's Gremlins the Weld Fast Monitor, then you have a cruiser and you can't activate it with just the Renegade anyway. I don't know. Uh, hijack... The, the Gremlin costs three to use. You can't hijack and kill it in the same turn. That would be great. Uh, Sensei Green does seem like the strongest color, but draft is self-correcting. If it's overdrafted, it would be correct to not always draft green. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go too deep there. Just try to read each draft separately. I buy I don't that. Know. I buy that. I think we can cruise. All right. Like your opponent takes eight here, and then they spend their next turn on the Gremlin, and then you can. I don't know. It feels like you can do a lot of damage. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, I, I think it sucks because I just don't want to lose my car because my car is so sweet. I just want to go too fast, too furious, but you know. You do what you do. How many car jokes do we get to make in the booth? Like, a lot, I think. I think we have a free pass to do a lot, actually. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm happy that green is the strongest color. I like drafting green. Alright, yes, get in there. Squirrel, you should not be hate drafting cards. Just don't hate draft. If people just stopped hate drafting, they'll get better at draft. Our opponent's like getting tricksy. Later, B Lang. Um, hey, so yeah. be. I mean, we just send in with a monitor, right? Yeah. And then we like attune and either torch. Yeah. Too weld fast, too weld furious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mode is kind of lagging a little bit. Um, uh, Moose Droppings, I'm definitely not playing in Pro Tours. I'm not playing in the Grand Prix I'm covering, obviously. And then I may play in uh, other Grand Prix, but I don't have any current plans of that. Best <laughs> V to sing a song karaoke time. He was singing a song before. See, look, your opponent didn't even kill the cruiser, so this has actually worked out. We're living in the best possible universe here. Yeah, think. I think the best possible universe involved is drawing a creature that could cruise this guy a little bit better. Hey, yeah. Aerolith, with that first time sub, welcome! You guys can get some Viper left for Aerolith's first arrival. Aerolith, this is your first time sub. Oh, the Scourge? 
The Scourge. Damn, son. You have six energy? It takes eight to, to nug with that, eight that to thing? Eight hit him in the face, yeah. Alright. Just draw a tiger, and then, then your opponent's, like, in a lot of trouble. Because then you can, like... Yeah, because we can, like, uh, crew shoot and them then, for six, and then crew, and then they're at yeah. one. Yeah, that'd be pretty smart. I should just draw a tiger here. I drew a mountain. I'm really bad. I got confused. Like I heard you say works. paper tiger, but, like, I just really wanted to draw a mountain. <laughs> Here, eat. Hijack is. Yeah. It's like really bad, yes. Period, I am going to the Pro Tour and I'm testing for it. I'm just doing coverage once I get there. So, I unfortunately, can't talk about what we're testing because I'm still testing for Team CFB. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, you're going ham on that chat. <laughs> I missed the last sub. I missed the last sub and I can't find them. But I found it now. It's errorless. Wow. Error. You just have so many subs you don't even worry about it anymore. That's not what I meant. I'm trying to find him in the chat. And it's the chat scrolls quickly. What do you want you're, from you're, me? Wow. And you're bragging about how quickly your chat Stop! scrolls. Stop! <laughs> Aaron Luke here is your site. I appreciate it. If you could whisper those to me, I would also appreciate it. Some streams just get really big time and they change. They're not the same anymore. <laughs> what if we... Jesus. Harvest Robinson is watching from the Bay Area. Favorite magic card is Stop. Stop, Stop that. that. And favorite ice cream flavor is New York Sup Super Fudge Check. That sounds amazing. Thank you so much, Armus Droppings, for joining us. I appreciate it. Mm, favorite um, set standard so far for drafting? I, I don't know. I like Eldritch Moon a lot, but we'll see what Kaladesh does. Shit, are we just like hijacking the construct and cruising the vehicle and crewing the vehicle? Sure, you could hijack the Scourge to crew the vehicle, but it doesn't matter too much. Would I scoop to summon a GP in a win and in situation? No, probably not. That doesn't make that much sense. Hey, Derek's for the first time sub. Welcome. Yeah, Here's some really high Derinx. quality streams have, have, have juggling yoga balls. Whisper them to me. All right, I'm just going to steal. I'm going to steal. I mean, we have yeah. to, right? Sure. And then we don't die on the. I don't know. This feels bad, man. Give me the ego. Yeah, I, I would have taken the other one, but it doesn't actually matter because you're not attacking with it. Let's just sing. Come on, there you go. Ooh, Aerolith, you have the same favorite uh, favorite ice cream I do. What is Aerolith's favorite ice cream flavor? I need to scroll back Cho for a second. Chocolate, chocolate uh, peanut butter. We're probably sending with this guy, right? Because it's a two-turn. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because now, now if you draw energy, then you can actually just nug your opponent for six yeah. and finish the game. Your opponent has three cards in hand. What, what oh, could they we're have? Probably the. This is my guess. Yeah. Earl says, you are, Yes, you are. I watch from California. My favorite magic card is Iona. And my favorite ice cream flavor is peanut butter chocolate. Thank you and so then, much, Erlith, for joining us. I appreciate it. And Central with that first time sub as well. What? That was stupid. Yeah. Uh, Lash card. Once you make active treason at the instant, it, it becomes a ray of command. That's just a very different animal. It's compl it plays completely differently. And it's actually super hard to play against. So yeah, and very powerful. So you don't do those very often. Central, here is your star. All right. Yeah, I would take hijack out because it's seemed very mediocre. Yeah. Uh, probably this quicksmith dude is fine. <laughs> Sure. I mean, he's like the only other like playable creature that we have. So even if he doesn't do anything, also you get to do that every time we cast it. I, I really hope that you do. If you don't, I'll be very disappointed. D Heisman, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Here is your star. And same questions. And please tag me in the message. Whisper it to me, pretty please. Oh, Fishman Fish has answers. One is like the superhero, and then two of his underwater friends. Second is watching from Maryland. Three is Juggernaut. And favorite ice cream flavor is cookies and cream. Thank you, Fishman Fish, for joining us. I appreciate it. Ooh, Central is watching from Toronto. Favorite magic card is Electrolyze, and favorite ice cream is Vanilla. Nice. This just doesn't work. Mm. I want a mullet. You in? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oi. This Sweet. is stupid. 
All right, this is fine, I guess. You we'll did. Take it. brawler. Yeah. I kind of want to keep it. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Oi. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am unhappy too. I want that trophy so bad. It's okay. We'll we'll get a trophy next draft. <laughs> I. I I'm in serious mode tonight. This isn't cube anymore. This is serious business. <laughs> this stream is serious business now. You guys heard it. You guys heard it here first. Ooh, torch gun. I like seeing that. Because that card's not very good. Yep. Hey, we drew a land. Cool. Alright, there you go. This is actually a fine... For a five-card hand, two aggressive creatures in a combat trick is, like, pretty good. Also, your opponent went planes, planes, torch gauntlet with brazen scourge in their Another deck. They planes. just yeah, they, they, just they have, like, not, they have uh, no mountains. Ooh, we drew paper tiger too. Yeah. Uh, I might just go doorbuster go. Go, because I don't want to trade, right? Yeah. Okay. D Heisman says yes. Philly favorite card is goblin bombardment. My favorite ice cream flavor is cinnamon. I've never had that. That's pretty cool. Ben and Jerry's has a good cinnamon ice cream flavor. I've never had ice with cinnamon. That sounds amazing though. Thank you, D Heisman, for joining us. I appreciate it. Make sure you join us on Discord too. What? Stupid. This thing's a 5-2? Alright, I guess we're racing. Yeah. If you draw a land, you can play Tiger. Oh. Ugh. Oh, that, that can actually block. That's actually not that bad. I guess it does trade with this thing. Hey, mm -hmm. Mugen Kokoro. I guess so we attack, play the Skype Pass. Mugen Kokoro with the first time sub. Welcome. So, this is stupid. You have to, like, give that and then just say no. You guys can get some Viper Love in chat for... Uh, sorry, that was a... Uh, Mugen Kokoro. Mugen Kokoro, <laughs> first rival. Mugen Kokoro, if you could answer the same questions for me, please. And it tagged me in the message. I would appreciate that. Uh, boop. Espeon sound the best thing someone return to Magic can do. To probably read articles and watch streams is a good way. Also, just play yourself. Magic Online is really, is really useful for that. The noob shooter? You shoot noobs? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I expect many- I guess we race now- it's a race now at every BT every time somebody casts or approves a vehicle. <laughs> oh, they drew a mountain game. Oh well. Yeah, it was- it was nice while it lasted, but it's- it's not gonna happen. I mean, I guess if we draw a land next turn, we're not in... Ibex? Oh, okay, that's not too bad. No, that's not too bad. Made it in Bash, though. Ooh, Odd Rider's kind of interesting. Uh, you could just, like, door bust and make it so the 5-2 can't block. Yeah, and then they attack, and if they block the door buster, we can maybe just build to smash. Yeah, that seems good. And then, But I guess then we can't play the Pima Outrider. They're probably not going to block. I would actually just... Yeah, I would just door bust the 5-2, and then if they block with Ibex, just trade or whatever. Alright. Yeah, they didn't block. Gas. I think we just wanted to be a 3 3, right? Probably, yeah. I think you're, I think making a servo is good. You think making a servo is good? I think so. Better than the 4-4? Four, four? No, 4-4, four, four, no, no, 4-4 four, four is better. Because, they, yeah, if they attack with the Ibex, you can make it, a, you can double block. That's pretty good. Yeah, counter is probably good. This is actually a pretty good game for a mold of 5 and your opponent on 3 planes. Yeah. It's been close. Do I know who I'll be in the booth with at the PT? I do not slob dog. The assignments for that don't come out until like a couple days before the PT. Yeah, the only request I've made is is basically. No, was... they hit an eager construct. You're joking. Ugh, Ugh vomit. Yeah. Hey, affinity for pie. I like that. <laughs> I like that name. I love it. Affinity for Pi, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you guys can get some Iberla for Affinity for Pies. They attacked with a 3-5. Mugen Kokoro's from St. Paul. Favorite magic card is Jeskai Ascendancy. Halimar Tide Color for the art. And favorite ice cream is Cherry Garcia. Awesome. 
Thank you so much, Mugen and Kokoro, for joining us. I appreciate it. I kind of want to double block. She didn't appreciate it enough to actually read her answers herself, but I. Wait, I got you just like it. get off my back? <laughs> Do we double block? Sure, you're gonna get owned, but probably it's still fine to double block. I think. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I would double block. I think. And before you're about to say like you wouldn't have double blocked. I swear to God, if you say this. I swear to God, if you say it. I didn't say anything. If the blockers switch, that means they have a combat trick, and that is bad for you. That is my analysis of the situation. <laughs> They're not moving them so far. I don't, you know, I don't actually have a favorite magic card. I have a lot of cards I like. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know about... Uh, Shut up! No. Uh, I uh, why? Oh yeah, that's really bad for you. Oh my god, Infinity for Pi says, watching from Riley, favorite card is Birthing Pot, and either cherry, vanilla, or chocolate peanut butter. And the Ch Eager's Construct, yes, I would like to scry. I guess we want to play the Paper Tiger. Sure. Oi. <laughs> Okay, we're dobs, dude. We are dob. We're Lou Dobbs tonight. Let me get your star affinity for pie. Affinity for pie. Ooh, and squee! 85. Appreciate it. Have you considered being a life coach in an alternate career? Hey, affinity for pie, here's your star. Let me get squee 85. Alright, we are done. We tried our best. You're not dead this turn. If you draw a hijack, you win. I hope you draw a quicksmith that you signed up for hijack. Alright, you're dead. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, Sam505, I, I never got asked what my favorite ice cream flavor was. I didn't get a star or a play mat. It's actually That's not unclear true. what I. What you I literally did. turned it down. Did I? I don't remember. Yes, that. you literally turned it down. You were like, I have infinite play mats. Just like that pro player privilege. Check your privilege. Here's great. Here's your star. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something I would do. Uh, you literally did. I, I wish I had, like, evidence of it. I, I may actually have a conversation of you saying that. Alright, so we 2-1'd with... God, so close to the trophy! Yet so far. 